Is liberty dying where you live? Escape to Keen at freekeen.com. I was the uh, defendant in the uh, case State versus Rich Paul, as one might guess. <laughs> I spent a year and a half as a political prisoner in the state of New Hampshire. Um, and that deserves a little bit of explanation. The reason I was arrested is not because the FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force wanted to get a guy with a small amount of marijuana off the street. I was arrested by the FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force because they wanted to blackmail me into spying on my political associate, associates. I'm a free stater. The FBI wanted to know what the free staters were up to, and they wanted to blackmail me into spying on them. Okay, that's wrong. Uh, they wanted me to entrap, uh, well, Ian Freeman's gone, oh, Ian Freeman. They wanted me to entrap Ian Freeman because he is a politically popular radio show host and he is an enemy of the Obama administration. So they wanted him entrapped. I went to uh, court. Uh, I was, I believe, the first person to use the new jury nullification statute. Um, and I said, Yes, I sold that marijuana, uh, or it was said for me by my, by my attorney, and that that uh, was not wrong, and we advised them of the right to judge not only the defendant, but also the law. The problem was that when the judge gave his instruction, not only was there the must and should, which is a very fine distinction that's difficult for a lot of people to make, but there's also a phrase in that, uh, in the Wentworth instruction that says you must interpret the law as I have given it to you and not what you believe the law should be, which directly contradicts the right uh, to nullify. Um, more or less, should is not good enough. If you encounter someone who has, been, who has been accused of violating the Fugitive Slave Act, you should convict them? No, you should not convict them because the law is unjust. If you find someone accused of violating a sodomy law, okay, a criminal, uh, criminal penalty for private sexual behavior, you should convict that person? No, you should not convict that person because the law is unjust. And I can give you a litany of carefully crafted laws that are completely unjust. And that is, that is the importance of this. From the perspective of a, of a defendant, to give a jury nullification defense and then get the jury instruction that I got was like a rope-a-dope. I go out there and I say, uh, or my attorney says, you have a right to nullify this law um, if, if the law is unjust. But then the judge turns around and says, no, you don't. You must interpret that law as I have given it to you, not what you believe the law should be, directly contradicting my, my defense and therefore making it look like either I'm lying, he let me lie apparently, but he turned around and contradicted me, um, or I'm just crazy. The jury was interviewed as they left the courtroom um, by various political allies of mine, and they said, why didn't you nullify the law? And the answer was, we didn't want to break the law. That makes it, I think, very clear that they absolutely did not understand the right to jury nullification. Um, this to me is, I mean, my life is trashed. It's not going to make a difference to me one way or the other. But there's always the next guy who's charged under an unjust law. And I, in deference to that, I raised $13,000 to pay for the, the appeal that we're hearing uh, talked about. That wasn't easy to do. <coughs> but I don't want to see ever another person's life ruined by an unjust government. Questions? Seeing none, thank you very much, sir. Yeah. We'd like to invite you to visit freekeen.com. 
Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.